Hi, I'm Ryan Clayton, field agronomist with DuPont Pioneer. And today we're gonna to talk about Japanese beetles in soybeans. We're gonna talk about identification, uh, some scouting tips, and some threshold for treatment. The first thing we need to do when scouting for Japanese beetle is make sure we positively identify the pest. There are some related species that are similar, uh, but there is some characteristics that help us positively ID the Japanese beetle versus the green June beetle or the mast chafer or the sand chafer. And as you look down into this canopy, we've got some Japanese beetles here. Um, you look for that shiny green and copper coating on the beetle. And then the real identifying factor for a Japanese beetle is the little white tufts of hair along the sides of the beetle themselves. Those are a key identifier for a Japanese beetle. You can see um, several of them throughout the canopy here and uh, also some feeding damage that we'll, we'll talk about as well. So once we've positively identified the presence of Japanese beetles, then we need to switch our scouting to whether or not we've reached economic thresholds with this pest and we need to recommend treatment. Um, for, for Japanese beetles and soybeans, there's some different thresholds by different stages. On early stage soybeans up to V7, if we see a 40 to 50% defoliation of the leaves, on a majority of the plants, then that's gonna be economic threshold. That's a tremendous amount of feeding. Um, to give you an example, this leaf right here, I would estimate around uh, 15 to 20, probably 20% uh, feeding damage. Uh, there's, there's your beetle there. Um, and then once we've, we've expanded on to early flowering or beginning pod development, that threshold goes to 15 to 20% defoliation. So a, a leaf like this on a majority of the plants, we would want to start thinking about uh, a, a, a insecticide treatment. Uh, once we've, we've gone beyond that stage of development and get into pod fill, it goes to about a 25% threshold, 25% defoliation to, to reach threshold. So once you've reached threshold, uh, I advise growers to uh, visit with their crop protection provider and find out what insecticides are labeled for this pest and follow those labels.